You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. Some hazy skies all over Northern California today. This is a live look in Butte County, and you can just see there above uh, the, the Buttes there, uh, not very pretty. Yeah, a lot of wildfire smoke in the air. Meteorologist Patrick Wright tracking uh, where that wind is coming from and where all this smoke is coming from, Patrick. We are seeing unhealthy air quality across our region, and it's because of the smoke blowing in from the fires in Siskiyou County and Southern Oregon. This is all part of a pattern change that is taking place that will leave us with a red flag warning beginning tonight at 11 p.m. and lasting through 8 p.m. tomorrow night. Winds will strengthen this evening, sustained winds of about 10 to 20 miles per hour with gusts up to about 40 miles per hour combined with the dry conditions. Will Will make for a very dangerous fire situation late tonight into tomorrow. Winds this evening gusting up to about 20 to 25 miles per hour, picking up to with gusts up to about 30 to 40 miles per hour, most of it along the I-5 corridor by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. So again, this is when the red flag warning is in effect. So a very high fire danger as a result. Use caution when outside or doing anything that may accidentally spark a fire because they will spread rather quickly and be harder to control if they do sp spread to vegetation. Here's what we have tomorrow afternoon and evening gusts up to about 20 to 25 miles per hour. Most of the winds dying down by early Thursday morning. The smoke will have another injection coming in this evening. This will make air quality worse than what it is now, especially for areas along the western side of the valley. So Redding, Red Bluff, Chico, that line kind of just following eastward or westward, I should say. We will have some unhealthy air at times this evening, so don't open up your windows. But with those strong winds tomorrow, that'll clear out pretty quickly by 12 o'clock or the lunch hour. The lows tonight, upper 60s to lower 70s, depending on where you are at in the valley, mid 60s in some parts of the mid valley. Highs tomorrow, upper 90s to around 100 degrees. We'll have a better shot at making these temperatures because we won't have as much smoke in the air for the afternoon and evening hours. But part of the change that's coming later on this week will be a chance for even some rain. So this will put an end to the fire danger, at least for the very high fire danger that we're seeing tomorrow rather quickly by the end of this week. Chance for showers in the mountain areas. What we're watching is to see if there's enough bubbliness in the atmosphere to ignite some thunderstorms. That will determine how much rain we get, and these chances will continue into sat Friday, Saturday, and very early Sunday. Rain totals for one model suggest we could get up to about two tenths of an inch. This model isn't as bullish on that thunderstorm chance. So we're going with the smaller chance or the lower rain totals at this point in time. But again, if we get some thunderstorms, we could see close to an inch of rain in some very isolated areas. Temperatures during the end of this week, sitting in the mid 70s, looking pretty good for Labor Day weekend, sitting in the mid 80s. So that's a couple degrees, if not five to 10 degrees below average for this time of year. But in order to get to that rather calmer and nicer weather, we have to get through some of the hot, very high fire danger coming up tomorrow. So we'll have to wait and see, but we have something coming at the end of the tunnel. What a crazy work week. Yeah, yeah. yeah.